Hello there, my loyal fans. This is Thomas OE3000 here, and I'm back with a brand new HO Scale train set to unbox, review, and have a running session with. And this one is one of the Walther's train line ready for fun train sets. I got this back in July at the North Bay Museum's gift shop. Yeah, I know, I know. I got it in July. This is November. This is me you're talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, it's me. <laughs> the one who's usually slow when it comes to this kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, guys. Been a little too busy and yada, yada, yada. Anyway, let's get on to this little train set, shall we? As you can tell, the price tag shows that this cost me $249.99. And for this train set, I chose the Santa Fe Painted Diesel along with the Santa Fe Caboose. Reason being is, when it comes to diesels, I'll only buy original livery locomotives. Let's say from the 70s, or 60s, 70s, 80s, and maybe 90s. And possibly maybe early 2000s, but when it comes to the modern day diesels, eh, not a huge fan of those modern diesels. Except the heritage units, they're pretty cool. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, I picked out this train set with this unique diesel locomotive. I honestly don't know the class of this engine yet. I'm sure there's some instructions inside the box that uh, would better explain which engine this is. And we'll find that out in due time, but first let's have a good look here. Generations of family fun since 1932. And all the cautionary signs there and showing that it's HO scale. Now, we'll go to the side here. Oop, don't want to damage the set before I even get it out. Yeah, we got some stuff from Walther's. Mm -hmm. Now, on the back here, you see three pieces of rolling stock a flatbed, a boxcar, and a gondola. Now, on the side here, you see the contents inside the box the controller, an informative DVD from the world's greatest hobby. Now, I'm 100% sure that's going to be the same one that I've had before, which means now i got three copies of that DVD. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and also comes with Bachman Easy Track with steel rails. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. And now, I'm just going to lay this down, and I'm going to finally open this thing up. Here we go. <laughs> that was easy. Alrighty, now where to start? I guess we'll start here with this. Oh, hello. The Walther's Getting Started Guide. Okay. Hmm. This looks really nice. This is great for beginners and all. Alright. More important paperwork. Stuff with the Bachman Easy Tracks. And hooking up with the controller, which is very different from the Bachman controllers, like the large scale one I showed in my previous video. <laughs> Walther's one year limited warranty. And, yep. Yeah, it's the same DVD. <laughs> yep. Same DVD. It's a great movie, though. And for those of you who are just beginning in the hobby, it's a great little movie to watch. Yeah. Now, how am I going to open this thing up? Oh, I guess like this. <laughs> All right, you. Come on. All righty. So, let's have a look at our diesel here, which is very heavy, and in fact, um, does this thing even come with instructions on the locomotive? Let's see. Uh, no. No, I'm not seeing them. So, I'm going to have to rely on you guys. Can you tell me what type of diesel locomotive this is? 
when it comes to steam engines, I know a little bit about them. But when it comes to diesels, I'm stumped. But anyway, this is Santa Fe number 2092. Looks really nice. And it's got those metal couplers. Always a nice sign. Just gonna put the diesel here right next to Percy's troublesome trucks. And we'll get out the Santa Fe Caboose. Hmm. Very nice. I'm guessing this is one of those Walter products. Of course, you get your signature Bachman Easy Tracks here. I'm guessing the straight tracks are on the other side here. Let's have a good look at the controller since the first time I've seen one of these controllers. Hmm. Okay, so it's got a little bit of a click like the large scale one. That's cool. It's really cool. And of course, your usual connections for a beginner's starter set. <laughs> All right, now let's get this one out of the box. It's not easy doing this with one hand. It never is. It never is. I'm trying not to drop you guys onto the floor, otherwise... Ugh. Not gonna be a great show. <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. All right. So we got some more curved tracks, and yes, you got the straight tracks right here. All right. So let's finally pry this thing open and have a look at our brand new rolling stock. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. That's really stuck on here. Ah, oh, there we go. Of course, again, it would be a lot easier with one, with two hands, but uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. There we go. All right, now for our new pieces of rolling stock. We got a Burlington Northern flatbed. I don't have too many flatbeds for my American Canadian engine, so it's really cool. And a Sioux line boxcar. I actually do have a Sioux line boxcar, but it has the plastic couplers. It's one of the old uh, Tyco boxcars. So it's nice to have one of these. And this one's a unique one. The Illinois Terminal Gondola with a red underside. Hmm. Very nice. All right. And of course we do have a signature Bachman easy track, straight tracks. We've already got quite a few of these for both the black track bed and the, the silver one. So I'm trying to do this all with one hand. <laughs> and not easy. I'll just do the rest off camera. But yeah, you get all this with this one Walther's train set. And now it's time for me to set it up. And I'll be back in just one second for you guys. For me, who knows how long that's going to be. And here's the setup. Well, most of it. <laughs> I can't exactly fit the entire HO scale layout or setup in this little oval with the large scale trains. Well, I could, but then uh, if I wanted to run both trains, the engines would just be bashing into Percy and his trucks. So that's why I'm holding these two pieces of track, just for safekeeping. And to make sure no damage comes to my new engines or my already existing collection of engines. <laughs> yeah, you do realize how expensive some of my engines are, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway, yeah, yeah, I'm just uh, rambling, aren't I? 
Let's get uh, the Santa Fe Loco over. I still have no idea what class this engine belongs to. So, like I said in the first part, I'm going to let you guys let me know. Okay? All right. Now, keep your eye on the engine. I don't know which way it's going. Okay, it's going in that direction. Okay. And actually, in fairness, I kind of like the Walther's controllers a little better. It's nice to have that satisfying click. Okay. So 2092 works. And now... Send her along the track. And by the way, there's the controller right there. I may just acquire a couple more of those for my next layout. Replacing my old Bachman controllers. And as for the Bachman controllers, I'll just use them for temporary floor layouts like this one. Alright, let's see if we can see the lights inside the cab. Does it light up? Yes, it does. <laughs> All right. And now for a couple of shots of the engine running by itself, and then I'll couple it up to a train, and then later on, I'll get it running along with Percy on the large-scale setup. All right, and running in is complete. Number 2092 is a very smooth runner, I can tell you that much. And it's quite a quiet engine, I can tell you that too. It does look the part. Don't get me wrong, I'm still not a huge fan of diesels, but when it comes to old liveries like this one, <laughs> yeah, okay, I got a bit of a soft spot for them. <laughs> That's why I actually, uh, didn't buy the Canadian Pacific train set. There was a Canadian Pacific train set alongside with this one, and I think there was a CSX one, but I avoided those and went straight for the Santa Fe, because look at that livery. That was once a pasture livery, and later ended up on their freight diesels. Looks really good. Looks really, really good. And now, let's move number 2092 out of the way and bring over the freight cars. Which I have sitting over here on the other side of Percy. So we'll start with the Santa Fe caboose. Then I'll bring over the Illinois Terminal Gondola. This is the main reason I move the uh, diesel out of the way, because metal couplers do not connect that well on curves. No, they don't. Next, I'll bring over the Sioux Line boxcar. And finally, can't forget the Burlington Northern flatbed. I know flatbeds would usually go on the back of a train, but this isn't a very long train, so <laughs> I think we're going to be okay for today. Yeah. So, let's back up our diesel to the train. If it will move. Did this to me off camera, too. Come on. Hmm. 
Don't know why it's doing that. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Here we go. All right. And now 2092 is coupled up to its train. Let's get moving. Oh, I thought it was coupled to the train, but it wasn't. Oh, boy. And now it won't reverse. Ah, oh, there it goes. <laughs> Something seems odd about this diesel. Really odd. There. It's coupled up regardless. Let's try it again. There we go. Now, <laughs> well, that's quite unusual. But hey, it's running now. Let's see it past Thomas and Percy. And no, I won't be getting Percy into operation for this video because I have a table in the way that's kind of, well, blocking his tracks. He'd just be bumping into it. So you won't see Percy run today. Sorry, guys. But if you do want to see Percy run, just check out the previous video. And don't worry, Thomas will be shown real soon. And now, let's see some shots of this freight train in action. And that, my friends, is the unboxing, review, and running session of the Walther's Ready for Fun train set with the Santa Fe diesel locomotive number 2092. And, can't forget, the Santa Fe caboose. Overall, this is a really nice little setup, and if you're just getting started into model railroading, then this is definitely a set I could highly recommend. Or if you're a fan of diesels in general, and especially if you love the Santa Fe, then this is definitely a set for you. For me, like I said, I bypass the Canadian Pacific and the CSX sets because, well, they're more of the modern liveries, and I'm not really too fond of the modern liveries. But the Santa Fe one, well, it just spoke to me, so that's why I picked it out. It will be expensive, though, so keep that in mind. But hey, 
if you can have just as much fun as I did with this set, then, hey, it's well worth it. Also, you might be asking right now, excuse me, <laughs> that was a burp. Why am I not filming this train on my layout? Well, right now my layout is messy. So I need to clean it off and get it ready for its final Christmas operating sessions. What do I mean by that? Well, I can't tell you right now, but uh, you'll find out soon enough. In the meantime though, uh, yes, this is definitely a set I could recommend. And for sure you'll be spotting number 2092 in future videos. Whenever I decide to operate diesels. <laughs> yeah. Whenever I decide to operate them. <laughs> then we'll get one more shot of this freight train. And that will be it. Alright then. Until next time, my friends, I am Thomas Zoe 3000. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm signing off.